Hey everybody, Christopher Hunt here at the Cloning Ranch, and I wanted to show you our um, 300 gallon stock tank setup. Uh, this is by Rubbermaid. So uh, we're getting everything ready for the winter months. Right now it's September, and um, actually mid-September, and uh, it's gonna be getting cold here in Indiana soon. So we're getting everybody prepared for the winter housing. The tortoises are getting their sheds um, insulated and built. Uh, we have, because we've taken on so many more this year. Um, and things of that nature, but our water turtles, we have a number of aquatic turtle species that um, we, we have here. We have Chinese box turtles, um, we have uh, musk turtles and false map turtles and all that stuff. So I want to show you um, just a few of what we have here. So this is our 300 gallon stock tank by Rubbermaid. Uh, we have a uh, pond filter here with a UV uh, sterilizer in it. You can't see the, the light, but uh, it actually helps on, on keeping bacteria levels and the uh, algae down as well. And it is a filter and it's a nice fountain for aeration. Um, and then we have um, some aquarium logs in there and some rocks and, and then all these fish. Now these fish, uh, we, we raise them ourselves. So these are bass and bluegill, um, things of that nature that you know we've gotten, we started out originally getting them out of the creek um, and then we started breeding them uh, so that, you know, minimize parasites. And, and some of them are from the creek too. I don't really worry about the parasites, you know. Um, uh, too much, but uh, we do get them from the creek as well. So just to show you some of the guys we have in here. So there's a red slider uh, in there. That is uh, Lisa, I believe it is. Uh, she's actually from Florida. Uh, you can't really see it that well, but there's a musk turtle right there. And then we have two albino red sliders. That's Johnny and Ronnie. Um, and then we have a uh, uh, mouth turtle here as well. And there's another reddered slider in here. Oh, there he is. Canopy. That's Canopy. That was Lisa over there, and that one's Canopy over there. So uh, let's see. That's uh, one, two, three, four, five. There's six uh, turtles in here, and they're all about the same size. They 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 haven't been fighting. We've had them together before. Uh, in the winter time, they all come in here, and they've never fought. We will keep an eye on them. If they do end up fighting, then of course we'll we'll separate some of them because we don't want to have injuries and stuff like that. But this 300 gallon stock tank for their size is perfect for them. And in the winter time, it does great. Um, we do have a light here, UV, sorry about the mess in the back. Uh, we do have a UVB light here. This is actually a mercury vapor bulb uh, by Reptisun. Um, and I am, I still gotta put, again, I'm getting this ready for winter. So I gotta put the floating island in the middle. So once I get that done, I'll show you guys what that looks like, but that way they can get out and bask. And I'll probably move the um, the fountain and filter over some way, you know, probably on the other side to give more room. So uh, that's our 300 gallon stock tank that we have. And these are our Chinese box turtles. So these are on loan from the TSA, the Turtle Survival Alliance. Uh, there's five in here. Um, so we've we've brought them in indoors here. So the first year we were keeping them indoors anyways. Um, but during the, the summer months, I did put them outside. So I have a... Uh, I constructed a little um, enclosure outdoors that had wire so nothing could get to them. And uh, they had plenty of water and um, uh, that way they can bask and get sunlight. So I do have a uh, UVB bulb here as well. I got a little filter and I have shallow water on here. So this works out great for the guys. If they flip over, they can actually right themselves. So I'm not worried about drowning. Um, and that's a, a waterlogged log. So they, they get up on there and they, they bask every day. So that's our uh, Chinese box turtles. And in this one, we actually have a um, uh, alligator snapping turtle. So that's that's him back there. That's Choodle. Um, so he's doing pretty well. They don't require a lot of space because they're they're they don't move a lot in in the wild. So they're they're kind of like an ambush predator. They they, they just sit there and lie in wait. And when a uh, uh, a fish swims into their mouth or near their mouth, they chomp down on them. So they don't actually swim around like a normal snapping turtle, moving place to place. I mean, they they do. They do travel and migrate and, and things like that, but this size enclosure, this is a, uh, I think it's like a 30 gallon tub from Walmart. This actually works great for him and his size that he's in right, that he is right now. So that's not a big, big concern, but he doesn't generally bask, but sometimes he does. So I have a UVB bulb here as well. And I actually have another UVB uh, light bar up there as well. So that's our uh, alligator snapping turtle. All right, and then we have some, uh... Uh, hatchlings here where or these actually hatched out this year um, we got two painted turtles in here uh, one back there one that oh, that little guy jumped off there and then a red -eared slider right there his shell's a little darker he's got some algae on there and then we have a little baby snapping turtle now 
normally I wouldn't put snapping turtles with other types of turtles um, because they can injure them but um, at this age I'm not really worried about it at all so I, I'm just keeping them together for right now just to fatten them up a little bit so that I can put them outside next and year. In this little cage here we have a couple uh, black spotted pond turtles. It's going to be kind of hard to see but back over there is a little one and in that corner is a little one there as well. Um, their shells are usually like black with uh, yellow yellow spots and stuff on them. Um, uh, right now the way they, they look the way they do is because they got algae and stuff growing on their shells which doesn't really hurt them. I'm not really worried about it. I do clean it off um, from time to time a little bit gently of course um, but I'm not really worried about it. It doesn't get in I don't think it's getting in, in the way of um, uh, UVB absorption because the edges of their shells are, are still hard um, and so I, I think they're doing all right but I do just in case I clean it off just a little bit. So that's just a quick look at our indoor enclosures that we have that we're setting up for uh, winter time for the aquatic species um, just to keep them protected and safe. Uh, we don't have an outdoor actual pond to, that doesn't freeze right now so um, I mean we do have a natural pond but it gets low and um, it's got enough turtles in it already so um, for anything new that comes in especially these the ones that are um, you know like the albinos and the black spotted pond turtles and the fact the sheer size that you know they're small I don't want to put those outside so we keep them indoors so just want to give you a, a quick look at that but give this a like and subscribe and follow for more thanks